What's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to buy and sell shares of stocks in TD Ameritrade. I've been wanting to make this video for a while. I just never got around to it. Uh, but let's dive right in. So let me take out my phone. And right here, you could see on, uh, what is that? Your left, my right, your left, you could see uh, what I'm seeing on my phone. So here's my TD Ameritrade account. And, um, you know, I, I got a lot of positions that are over 100% now because I'm all about the buy and hold strategy. But things like Square, uh, I, I'm up, what am I up? I'm up 102%. I bought that back in January. I bought that six months ago. A uh, little uh, seven months ago now. Etsy, 136%. Also bought that seven months ago. Uh, but enough gloating. Let's jump right in. How do you buy and sell shares of uh, whether it be stocks or ETFs in TD Ameritrade. Well, it's very simple. Uh, you have a little search button all the way at the bottom. You can click that and you can search whatever you want, right? So let's say we're gonna search Visa, that is V for the ticker symbol. And you see right there, there's Visa, Visa Inc. If you click on it, pops up and here's what we see. It'll give you a quick little overview. It will show you, uh, you know, right now the market's closed. Um, but it will show you they closed at $198. I'll show you the day range. We can go over to the chart, see what the chart looks like. So chopping around. Uh, it's kind of high right now. I'd like it to come a little bit closer to the 200 day moving average. But my strategy is by every single Tuesday, I'll add to my positions, regardless of what the market's doing. That's called dollar cost averaging. You can watch whatever side the video pops up on on dollar cost averaging if you don't know what that is uh, but let's say i wanted to buy this so up in the corner it says trade you hit trade and there we go it pops up we got your action whether it be buy or sell or buy to cover or sell short we're not going to jump into that in this video over here we have the type whether it be limit or market stop market stop limit um, we always do limit, never do market order. That's a very foolish move. And then right here we have shares. So let's say we only wanted to buy, how about two shares? Okay, so two shares for a price, a limit price of $198.50. Expiration, we could either do day, day extension, good to cancel. You have some options here. We're just going to pick the day. And at the bottom, you can see where it says estimated total, $397. Just like Robinhood, TD Ameritrade is free, so it's not gonna cost us anything, so that, that's it, it's just the estimated total. We're gonna hit review order, and then it'll show us, again, we're gonna place this order for $397, day expiration, routing smart, which exchange is coming from, the account, all that good stuff at the very top. You can see it says stock, uh, v for Visa, buy two shares at $198.50 as a limit. As long as that all looks good, we just hit place order and then that's it. Now it is open and that's because the market's closed so we can't do any training yet. But when the market opens tomorrow, this will either get filled or it'll be canceled if uh, maybe the market jumps, right? If, if Visa goes up to say $200 or $199, my, mark, my order will never get filled and it won't buy. But that's how you place a buy order, whether that be limit or market, and you can fluctuate, right? We could raise the price if we wanted. So if I go back really quick, let's go back to trade. And again, if I had two, I could change the price. I could go in here and say, I want a limit of 200. So buy anything under $200 for me. So my total will be a maximum of 400 or it could be less. So that's how we buy. Now for selling, it's very simple. We just go to sell. So if we wanna sell two shares for whatever price, whether it be $198, $200, and then again, we hit review order, place order, and there we go. You can see right there, we have an order to buy two shares and then we have another order to sell two shares. So I'm gonna cancel this order because I don't wanna sell them. And let's go back to my positions. Here's another thing that you can do when it comes to buying or selling. So if you wanna add or reduce a position, 
So for example, I have 45 shares worth of PayPal. What if I wanted to sell five shares for whatever reason? If I go to PayPal, there's an add or reduce button. So all I need to do is click on reduce. It'll pop up to PayPal already for sell limit, the amount of shares. Let's say I type in five, show right there. I will reduce PayPal five shares for whatever price I choose. Estimated total, I'll get $890 back if I were to reduce the position. Let's go back and same goes for, let's go back to PayPal. If I wanted to add to the position, I just hit the add button, opens back up, I could add however much. So say I wanna add five shares, again, it'll cost me $895. But that's it, that's how you buy and sell on TD Ameritrade, it's a very simple app to use. Uh, when you buy or sell, it's completely free, just like Robinhood. The reason why I use TD Ameritrade other than Robinhood is because it has better charting software and I feel like it gives me more information than Robinhood. Robinhood is just kind of bare bones. Um, but that's TD Ameritrade. If you have any questions about the brokerage, leave a comment. I've been using it for about three years now. I know it inside and out, it's my main account. Uh, so yeah, leave a comment. If you like this video, smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe and check out my other videos as well. You might find something interesting. That's all I got for you. See you in the next one.